you. Today I am doing me a hairstyle. I am doing micro um, with a sew-in. What I did was, I feel like to me that makes it go a lot quicker because I don't want to sit there and wait on no micros. And I know you guys, you know I really don't like to do um, really, really small braids. I did small braids, but I did make my parts a lot bigger than sometimes when you see um, micro braids. That's my thing is when it's around the whole hairline, you want to make sure you make your parts a lot bigger um, because especially you don't want your hair to start breaking off as when, and when, when they've done like really, really little tiny pieces of baby hair and you putting the braid on that. All it's going to do is snap off, so don't do that. But what I already done is I already braided my hair. Um, I did it just like I um, braided kind of like I was going to do a sew-in. I left um, some of the hairline out. So I kind of made it like a U because I took left the hairline out and I left a lot of the hair at the top out also. So then I did braids. But um, I'm thinking I could have left a lot more hair out because you always want to have more braids than you do track hair because you know you want it to cover up, especially at the top. So what I would do is I would probably just part out a huge... Um, U shape, backwards U shape, and I will braid that part. And again, I will take out some of the sections of hair, and, um, the hairline, and braid that part. And I also did the back too. So just in case I wanted to wear it up in a ponytail, it can be an illusion like I got braids. And what I did was I put my hair in a beehive. Um, and what I'm about to do is I'm about to go ahead and sew. I'm not going to sew it. I keep saying sew. It's actually going to be quick weave. I'm going to glue the tracks on. You can sew them if you want to, but it just takes too much time. The type of hair that I'm going to use is the hair already braided up. It's pre-braided. It's track hair, like sewing hair. And the um, brand is called Black Star Premium Quality Tangle Free Hair. And again, this is how the package looks. Um, it was $10.99 my local stores. Every store don't sell this. So you might be able to go to different stores and see if they sell it. If not, you most definitely can be able to buy it online. It may not be the brand Black Star, but um, you should be able to find some kind of track hair um, that's already braided. And this is synthetic hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and apply it like I would, again, one of the quick weave styles. I will provide you with a good video to show you how to do the quick weave. You'll do it exactly like that, but you're going to be using this track hair. And um, I don't want to get all on video. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. What I did also is I used Kenkaline hair, the regular $2.99 pack of Kenkaline hair, the braiding hair. And what I did was I dipped my hair in hot water so it can look like the ends. And the good thing about this is um, this is Kenkaline hair, so it's the same type of texture. So again, let me get finished and I'll come back at you guys when I'm done. Okay? Okay, you guys. So what you want to do is the track hair comes like this. You most definitely want to make sure you lay these real close together. Oh, lay these really, really close. Um, and then once you lay them close, see how they look because you want them to be able to fill in really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this right on top of that track that I have started and I'm just going to continue to keep going up, keep going up and keep going up and keep going up until I'm completely at the top. And once I get to the top, I'll show you guys what to do because there is a way that you have to close it off correctly. But just keep laying it that it's being that it looks thick. OK, because what I did was I got five packs. So hopefully five packs that should do. The thing is, I got five packs because it's it's um thin. So. And sewing these will probably take you a while. So I think I would rather um, glue it. So anyway, let me get started. And I like to use my Salon Pro. I love the brand Salon Pro. It's the bomb. So anything you see by them is usually good. And what I also have, I forgot what this is called, but it's like a flexi. Uh, I really don't know. I used to use it when I have my, um, when I used to use my glue gun. So the drippings wouldn't get on it. So try this. And this is really good to put up under when you're um, putting glue on the tracks. Because you do have to put the glue right on the tracks. And you um, want to put this up under because it'll make a mess if you don't. Make sure you put on some kind of shirt you know, that you don't want to really get messed up. Because um, you know the glue can get anywhere. So just treat it like you would anything else. Be very gentle. Um, be very careful. Because that um, black glue is really hard to get out of clothes. I have a really good video to show you how to be able to um, take the tracks and stuff out. Um, you always want to make sure you leave it 
in long enough for the glue to release because if you leave it in for at least about a good month that's a good really good it started releasing by itself but if you want to take it out before a month you can just always make sure you again refer back to my video and use the um, glue remover before you just try to remove it so let me get started and um, I'll come to you guys in the middle bye okay and then what you want to do is make sure that you uh putting glue on the correct track side of the track it should be facing you the braid should be facing you um and that's the way that you should lay it if that makes sense it should have like a rigid the track should have a rigid filling where you have to glue it so again i'm just finding it and i'm gonna lay it right on top and don't use a whole bunch of glue we don't take a whole bunch of glue but i'm gonna lay it right on top of that i'm, I'm laying these close because I want them to lay right and look good. So if you have to go buy you another pack, you may want to do that. Because I don't think it's going to, it's not going to look good unless it's totally full. And what I'm going to do, well, another thing you can do too, you can use a dryer to be able to um, dry the hair. Because that makes it, um, makes the tracks hold better but I'm good because I don't got no oil or nothing in my hair so it's going to stick but if you get to the point that it's not sticking just use a blow dryer and I'm just going to continue to keep doing the same thing sizing the track if you need a mirror get you a mirror because I actually don't have a mirror I'll probably get one eventually but I don't have one I'm not looking at one so but it will make it a lot easier Some people don't cut the tracks. I cut my tracks. It's easier for me, especially with me doing my own hair. So, um, please don't nobody leave me a comment talking about I don't supposed to cut the tracks. It's okay. And I'm just putting really little pieces of glue on the track. Don't use a lot of glue. You know, use enough that is the glue to track, but just not a whole, whole bunch. So you see how that's looking fuller? If you can see that, just keep going right on top of each other. And you know what I'm going to do, you guys, I am going to set up me, my mirror stuff so I can be able to see. Because it do makes it look, it's looking good already. Look at that. Make sure you lay it very close together. And glue is done wrong with glue. So don't nobody please leave me no crazy comment about that. As long as you use the remover, it comes out super easy. Because I do it all the time. You can refer back to a lot of my videos. You start having breakage when you just try to take it out when it ain't ready to come out. You have to leave glue you know in for a while just like a sew-in when the sew-in is not ready to come out you can't just take it out see i'm just looking and seeing and then i'm going to glue it okay mm -hmm. 